Aries, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for August 17th through the 23rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your uh, current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Um, all right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Eight of Swords. You're in your head about something. You're very much concerned about something. You're creating a lot of thoughts in there about a situation. It could be a connection here. Um, where you may have your guard up, but we'll get there. Um, in the recent past, you get the Magician that jumped out in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. All right. So something that you really, really wanted to happen wasn't happening. I feel like you weren't ready for it quite yet, possibly. You went through a healing period that wasn't, it wasn't the easiest thing to do for you. You know, you came out of something here, pretty hard, pretty defeated, feeling pretty defeated, but then you kind of went in and came out of it, but something wasn't working out. Something was not manifesting for you. It wasn't showing up for you, even though you really, really wanted it. I don't know what. Um, in your current situation, you get the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Wands. There's a little bit of defensiveness, a little bit of rejection when it comes to possibly a connection here that you may have with somebody. It could be a marriage for some of you. But there's a little bit of, I need my space, you know? <clears throat> could be you, could be them. In the immediate future, you get the Sun, the Five of Swords, and the Tower. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody's kind of kidding themselves that they're happy. And something happens that shows them that, uh, no. Uh-uh. That's not happiness. It, 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 it almost feels like I would try to convince myself that I'm happy when I'm miserable. But I'm telling myself that so many times that I actually start to believe that. But I don't feel that. I feel like I'm miserable. I think I'm happy. I feel miserable, right? So that's the, and something's coming for this person who believes this. That's kind of like, it's, it's gonna wake them up to the reality of how they truly feel. You know? Hmm. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the uh, Eight of Swords. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords, the Sun, and the Knight of Pentacles. You're heading towards a good place. You're heading towards happiness. And it's kind of like you feel it. But the movement is so slow that you get caught up in all of these other energies of when is it coming? Why am I not there? Why am I not happy? Why is it not, not happening now? What? You know, all of that. That's creating a lot of anxiety for you um, in this path of yours towards happiness. You're heading there. Do not let these thoughts and anxiety take you off course. Um, let's clarify the magician in reverse. <clears throat> oh, wow. The Hierophant, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this was a connection that you were trying to manifest back into life. It wasn't working out. It felt very um, powerful, very spiritual to you in nature. Again, it does show up as a marriage for some of you. 
but it's something um, very powerful that you felt towards this connection. However, with the Magician in Reverse, it wasn't coming to life. It wasn't happening. Not in the way you may have wanted to, wanted it to. So I feel like there's a little sense of control there. Like it has to happen like this because otherwise, you know, it's not. Like the way it shows up in the cards is beautiful. The energy, if it happens like this. If it comes in flowing and uninterrupted and uncontrolled. There may have been a little bit of wanting for things to happen in a certain way. But then some healing followed. So maybe you dropped that control. Um, let's do the Four of Swords. Talk about control. The Emperor, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. There you are showing up in your power there. There is an interference and it kind of shows up on your side. Uh, it could have been a situation where you felt really, really strongly towards somebody um, and you were already involved in something else. Of course, it could be the other person. Um, and whoever was in the situation pretty much wanted the cake and ate it too. You know, so that's the controlling kind of energy. Well, yeah, I want this connection, but I also don't want to give up what I have here. You know? Um, hmm. Let's see the Ten of Cups in the current situation. The Three of Cups, the Strength card, and the Tower. Lots of major arcanas showing up here. Whatever's happening right now for the two of you, and especially for you, it's divinely guided. So trust that if you're down and screaming at the top of your lungs that you can't take it, that it's going to turn out to be for your own good. You're healing something. Um, there is possibly a reconciliation at stake. I feel like somebody's gonna sabotage that, either you or them, or the both of you. Uh, the energy is there for it to happen. Somebody's kind of like throwing it to the trash. Let's clarify the um, Nine of Wands. Aww. The Justice, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Things can be so simple if we let them. Um, your resistance or their resistance or defensiveness doesn't let this energy come through. This very pure kind of energy of love. That's what it is. And that's what's going to make things right here. That's what's going to balance things out in this situation. But because somebody's pretty much standing in the way of this, it's not really coming to life the way it should, at least. You know? Um, let's clarify the Four of Wands. <laughs> the Seven of Cups, the Empress, and the Ace of Swords. It does feel like somebody may be tied up in another situation, but for them, there's only one person in their heart and that's their empress. Um, they're looking at options and the only option that makes sense to their heart is their empress here that they want to go towards. And that's you, you're, you're the emperor. So let's clarify the sun in the immediate future. The Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Somebody's waiting for this love to come in, to show up. Um, just even the waiting part kind of makes them giddy, kind of makes them, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm so happy that it's going to happen. Kind of like knowing, really, really knowing that it's going to happen. It takes time. It takes some waiting. It takes some patience. But this person is kind of like, just knows, you know? Um... Let me clarify the Five of Swords in the immediate future. Whew. 
my god such a such a in and out kind of energy uh the lovers the chariot and the eight of cups it's like the as fast as it comes in that's how, how fast it's gonna go away this connection right um i don't see this ending anytime soon but it's sure gonna feel like it it's gonna feel like oh my god this is perfect this is beautiful this is happiness this is everything i've ever wanted for like five minutes and then it's gonna go away and then it's gonna come back again who knows when you know um and that's a very deceptive kind of energy on whose ever part is doing that it could be you that could be them that could be the both of you um You know, when somebody really, really wants for something to happen and when that thing happens, they usually run the opposite direction um, for various reasons. Either it doesn't look exactly like they pictured it, either it's too intense, either it doesn't show up in the form that they wanted it to show up in. You know, there are many, many reasons that something that you actually asked for can scare you. And we're all guilty of that. So I feel like this is what's happening here. It's finally starting to show up in the way that it's supposed to be. And it's a very powerful connection. But it kind of scares somebody off. Let's see the tower in the immediate future. <laughs> what? <sighs> the death card, the page of cups and the devil. This tower is coming in because somebody is really, really, really lying to themselves. Like, no, I don't love this person. I don't know who they are. I... Um, could be you. You know, could be them. I don't know. But whoever's doing that, that's something that they need to work with. That shows up as a devil energy, as the problem in all of this, right? The rejection of all of this the uh instead of aligning with how you truly feel telling yourself things that aren't necessarily true because they don't align with how you feel right so somebody's saying no i don't want to i don't want to offer love here i don't i don't know but it shows up with the devil card which tells me you lie if that's you you know um so I would take another look at that. But whenever you decide to tell yourself that, a tower moment is going to come in for this connection. Another one, because you got towers everywhere here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A lot of that going on. You're killing me. The King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Star. You both want each other. That's the bottom line. You both want this. Yeah, one of you is coming from a more logical, more practical place. The other person is coming from a more nurturing kind of place. But it's perfect. It's like, okay, well, we we want this. I want this in we, you and you want this in me. So it's perfect. We're, you know, you, you kind of see each other as a match here. And the most important part, you both want this. But again, you need to work through some things. So that's why the back and forth. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.